Uh, Michelle Malkin's here. Hey, Michelle Malkin, you're over in Colorado where the president was. Were you at the rally? I certainly was not. I stayed as far away as possible, Brian. Yeah. Well, what about the ACLU? Even the ACLU, you know, everybody, the reason the president is out, it was out in Colorado is because there's probably going to be a vote in the Senate next week. But with the background checks and some other things, even the ACLU is not on board because, you know, one thing could lead to another, could lead to a national registry. Yeah, well, uh, thank you, Johnny Come Latelys at the ACLU, for finally paying attention to the CL, civil liberties of gun owners. I, I, you know, the privacy rights of Second Amendment activists have been threatened for quite a while now, as many of these uh, meddling newspapers have taken it upon themselves to try and turn um, concealed carry uh, license holders into uh, moving targets uh, for criminals by uh, advertising their uh, addresses. Yeah. Um, in public on the front pages. And now here comes the ACLU finally to acknowledge that the universal background regist and registration scheme uh, that uh, Harry Reid and, and Dianne Feinstein and the gun grabbers in the Senate have been pushing actually do pose legitimate real privacy concerns about how they would amass that information and, and um, how purportedly the government would uh, make sure that it's not being abused. They, ha they said, in fact, I I think that's the phrase they used in an exclusive interview with the Daily Caller. Um, Chris Calabrese, who's a, a lobbyist for the ACLU, said that those concerns were quote unquote significant. Yeah, he Indeed. did say that. Uh, and then a lot of talk's been out in Colorado where they passed some pretty stringent uh, gun laws, also in Connecticut. Yeah. There's a congresswoman out there, Diana DeGette, uh, who had this to say about uh, ammunition, I believe, and magazines. And some people were saying that she doesn't really have a huge knowledge base to draw from. Listen to this. And just br very briefly, to your last question, what's the efficacy of, pa of banning these magazine clips? I will tell you, these, these, this is, these are um, ammunition. They're bullets. So the people who have those now, they're going to shoot them. And so if you ban, if you ban them in the future, the number of these high-capacity magazines is going to decrease dramatically over time because the bullets will have been shot and there won't be any more available. That is extraordinary <laughs> that a member of Congress who is mm. sponsoring the federal bill on magazine capacity thinks that a doesn't know that a magazine is reloadable. Once you shoot them, you can put some more bullets in there. It, it's appalling. It is a gap a minute with all of, of uh, these diarrhea of the mouth Democrats in, here in Colorado. And you'll remember that the, this is really just the latest of um, the gaffes uh, by these gun grabbing Democrats. Um, it, and it underscores a point that Second Amendment activists have been making um, since this whole. Um, orgy mm -hmm. of gun control laws um, have, have, have sprouted up, which is that these people don't know what the heck they're talking about. And um, she piled gaff upon gaff, which she tried to clarify uh, in these remarks about the um, ammo magazine mm -hmm. ban here in Colorado, that she really was talking about clips, which of course are reusable as right. well. They <laughs> load the bullets she, into the magazine. She also brought, uh, she was, uh, there was a Q&A portion. Somebody put up their hand and say, listen, and if I have a house, I want to be able to protect myself. Should an intruder come in, what should I do if you take my gun away? Listen to the exchange. Good news for you. You live in Denver. The DPD would be there within minutes. <laughs> you probably be dead anyway. So we'll, we'll do here in the... You might be dead anyway. Mm. Great. Uh, the hubris, the um, contempt that she showed for this elderly man who had concerns about uh, self-defense and the privacy in his own home, um, she basically rubbed uh, people who believe in self-defense uh, their noses in their faces. And of course, the reason why so many people, I think uh, there was this huge outburst of, of laughter when she talked about uh, DPD being there in minutes is that there's actually been quite a controversy in Denver about response times. And again, this is something that Second Amendment activists and uh, gun owners have been trying to underscore in this debate and try and bring it back to reality. And that is you can't always depend on the government to be there to 
defend you against uh, invaders and criminals. Let's talk a little bit about the White House and the sequester because, of course, there are no more White House tours right now, and that's really been front and center. Some people believe that it's a little over the top and for political gain. At the same time, you yeah. have celebrities who are able to still get into the White House, Justin Timberlake, Al Green, Queen Latifah, Cindy Lauper, Ben Harper, just to name a few. Chris you, Chulo cannot get in. <laughs> One our of our floor, floor crew guys. <laughs> uh, do, do you see this as a hypocrisy or what? It's bad optics. And mm -hmm. um, in case people missed it last night, I did my performance of Party Rockers in the White House. Can we hear a little? <laughs> and I'm not going to do it in Oh, come pop. on, just a little. Party Rockers in the White House tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and it's really, it's not, um, unfortunately, um, not very funny uh, to people in, who are working in government right now and facing yeah. these sequestration cuts. I mean, a lot of them are needed, uh, but, um, you know, the, the prospect of the party animals in the White House throwing these, um, you know, big feasts every week sure. does not sit well with a lot of people. Well, well you know doesn't. what? It looks like the sequester effects are not going to be long-lasting because the president is going to kick back 5% of his uh, salary, so problem solved, right? Yeah, probably not. All yeah. Right. So yeah. Secretary of right. Defense. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much. We'll see you, <laughs> you next bet. week. Take care.